and Exacta only. Number one, Loyal Opposition, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number two, Fox Valley Lady Dock is owned by Vince Affronti of Lockport. Vince is the trainer, and Dave McGee is the driver. Number three, Shirley Graham is owned by Tom Graham Jr. and his wife Shelley of Salem, trained by Buzz Graham, the driver Ken Holliday. Number four, Fox Valley Perdito, owned by Brian Pinsky Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, by David Hosey of Glencoe, Minnesota, trained by Brian Pinsky, he's in the bike. Number five, Trixie Muffler, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago and Terry Duffy of Lamont, trained by Tex Motes, the driver Tony Morgan. And number six, Finance the Farm, is owned by Donald Laufenberg of Highland, Wisconsin, trained by Lloyd Dalton, the driver Dale Heitman. Post time in less than five minutes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Fox Valley Perdito goes for the early lead. Fox Valley Lady Dock is there toward the inside, however. These two to the front in an early speed duel, and Fox Valley Lady Dock has the lead by a length. Fox Valley Perdito drops over toward the rail second. Loyal Opposition comes out racing in the third spot. Shirley Graham is away fourth, a gap of four more lengths as they race around the turn to Trixie Muffler and Finance the Farm is trailing. At the quarter, Fox Valley Lady Doc is on top. The opening quarter, 27 and two-fifths. She leads it by just over one length. Fox Valley Perdito second by two. Loyal Opposition goes third by a length as they head toward the half. Then Shirley Graham as the pace is backed off a bit now, followed by Trixie Muffler and Finance the Farm. Headed toward the half-mile mark, Fox Valley Lady Doc is on the lead by one length. The Fox Valley Perdito second by two. Loyal Opposition picks it up from third. Shirley Graham is behind her. Two and a half more lengths to Trixie Muffler and Finance the Farm is the trailer. 57 seconds was the time for the half. At the entry to the far turn, they're being led by Fox Valley Lady Dock by one length, and here comes a loyal opposition. The odds-on favorite starts moving up with Shirley Graham moving behind her. Loyal opposition draws alongside of Fox Valley Lady Dock and now takes the lead by a neck. Shirley Graham is third, a length and a half off the lead, outside of Fox Valley Perdito, then Finance the Farm. Trixie Muffler is last, and they're at the three quarters. Loyal Opposition leads it by almost a full length. Fox Valley Lady Dock is second, the three quarters in 126. Shirley Graham three lengths away in third, then Finance the Farm. Fox Valley Perdito, Trixie Muffler last. Loyal Opposition at the eighth pole leads it by a length and a half now. Loyal Opposition trying to get free of Fox Valley Lady Dock. Finance the Farm is third on the outside. Loyal opposition by two and a half. Finance the farm keeps coming from far back. Fox Valley Lady Dock toward the rail, but loyal opposition wins it by a length. Finance the farm was second, and Fox Valley Lady Dock was third in 153 and three fifths. We mentioned the fact that Irvin Miller is the three time defending champion trainer at the DuCoin State Fair, and you're finding out why. This is Irvin's third straight win as trainer. Back-to-back -back wins on the card for driver Andy Miller. Number one, loyal opposition, the official winner of the fifth race. Investment banker Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, owns this coal muffler two-year-old filly bred by Cottonwood Farm from Big Rock, Illinois. The filly now nine for nine. Cottonwood will offer a coal muffler full brother to this filly as hip number 33 in their annual farm yearling sale on Sunday, September the 8th. The 1-6 exacta $21.60. The rundown next.